So now that you're familiar with the dashboard, let's go and have a look at the actual site. To get to the front end of your site, the part that everyone else sees, you can just go up here to the name of your site at the top of the page and click on it and it'll take you to the site. You can also click on visit site. Both Either one of those ways will get you there. So this is what your blog looks like before you actually uh, start to make it your own. This template is the latest WordPress uh, template. It's incredibly customizable so we can do a lot to turn it into a website that you feel uh, reflects you in your classroom. At the top here is the name of your site. Underneath is a uh, is subtext and we probably want to pretty quickly change possibly the name of your site and the subtext. There's a header image here and this you can have control over. Around the back of the blog is this gray area. You also can have control over what goes there. You have a navigation bar here. Right now there's just a simple home button that people can always use to get back to the front page of your blog and a sample page. We'll go to the sample page in a second. Further down there is the first blog post that the uh, WordPress automatically puts for you. So we're going to want to delete that post because we don't want parents or anyone to see that. Um, and it looks like if you look down here there's also one reply. You can also see um, that there's one comment up here in this box here. So if we click on this we can see what the comment is. Hi, this is a comment. So, and if you want to leave a reply, you can leave a reply there. Uh, so, what we're going to do is go back to home and talk a little bit more about the home page first. Down the side of your blog, uh, so a blog is a constantly uh, changing web page. It's, it's, uh, it's a journal of what's happening in your class. So every time you add a new entry to your journal, the last one's going to go down the page. Uh, this means that uh, there does need to be some parts of the blog that don't move just so people can navigate it. Uh, the, po the part that is used most often is on the side here. This is called the sidebar. And later on we'll do, to do a tutorial. You have a lot of control over what goes in this sidebar. Um, and you can really do some really neat stuff with it. Finally, up here on the sample page, this is what a page looks like. And a page, unlike a blog post, will always be there. So it's more of a static web page. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the dashboard. And we are going to change the name of the blog and the subheading. So to do that, we need to go over here to our toolbox over here and we're going to go to settings and we're just going to go to general settings if it doesn't go there automatically and you'll see the first two boxes in general settings are the site title and the tagline so I'm going to call this my teacher training blog and here we're going to call it uh, a demo blog for teachers. In here, uh, the next line is the email address that it was set up with. Um, I don't think there's anything else there that you need to pay too much attention to, and you can just save changes.